What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Zamrix one here. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Happy Friday! One. Yo, bro, I'm kind of confused on how this thing works. Um, is this recording? Is, is, what? This is so sick. Yo, today guys, I'm coming at you with a brand new True Light Blue Eyes deck profile for the October 1st, 2021 ban list. And today is October 1st. The first day the ban list is officially taken into effect. I think with the addition of the True Light, this deck is absolutely insane. I got a cool deck list I want to showcase you guys for today. And let me tell you, the meta is changing because of one card. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but one card is changing the meta. And since today is October 1st, the live box break for the 2021 Ten and Ancient Battles is in the link in the description box below. And I'll be doing the live box break tonight at 6 p.m. Make sure you guys get your box breaks today. I think they're sold out by now but if there is a chance that there are some left make sure you guys get your box break in the link down below also tonight at 9 p.m est during the live stream i'm dropping my very first playmat ever the txx1 website is now reopening and i'm dropping my very first playmat for the reopening guys so tonight at 9 p.m est during the live stream i'm dropping a very very sexy playmat for october in celebration of 400,000 subscribers. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I won't waste any more of your time. Without further ado, don't forget to do that first. Let's start with the brand new True Light Blue Eyes deck profile. All right, guys, let's begin. First off, of course, the legendary dragon himself, Blue Eyes White Dragon, absolutely insane. I decided to actually go with the Ghostware versions for the anniversary pack 2020 uh, from Japan. These cards look absolutely insane. And since I'm playing a True Light based deck, you gotta play a True Ghost. Blue Eyes White Dragon, know what I'm saying? So this card, absolutely amazing. Especially the fact that with True Light, you can constantly arrive this card from your graveyard is absolutely ridiculous. So triple copies of Blue Eyes White Dragon, absolutely necessary to play in your deck. Next we're gonna play, of course, two copies of Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Two copies is all you need in my personal opinion. This card is absolutely phenomenal. Target a monster point controls and destroy it. And with the addition of True Light, since this card is always treated as a Blue Eyes card, while it's on the field and in the graveyard, you can constantly arrive this card back from the grave. So you're actually able to use True Light's effect to revive this card multiple times on the field. Once you do that, it's really awesome because you're able to pop multiple monster opponents out of the field using the exact same blue eyes. Because if you summon the blue eyes using its own effect, you pop a monster. If you synchro summon it away or you detach it off an Xyz material, since it was properly summoned, you can activate the True Light to revive this card back from the graveyard and then pop another monster, uh, which is really good. You can constantly do this every single turn uh, because now we have access to the True Light, right? So Blue Eyes Archive White Dragon, really awesome extender and a card that helps get rid of monsters on the field. Uh, next off, of course, triple copies of Sage Eyes of Blue. This card searches out all your white stones directly from your deck to your hand. And it's also a tuner, which helps you get access to, of course, your Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Next off, of course, we're gonna play triple copies of the White Stone of Ancients. Really good toolbox card of the deck. And the really good thing about this version is that its deck is a control version, especially since the release of the True Light. And this card is great toolbox card, recycles your Blue Eyes monster from your graveyard to your hand. And also at the same time, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you basically get a special on a blue eyes monster directly from your deck, uh, which is really, really awesome. So one of the best cards in the deck, hands down. Next off, you're gonna play, of course, one, the White Stone Legend. This deck is not a combo based deck. Uh, so one is all you need, uh, in my personal opinion, and this card gets you access to blue eyes, and you get so much value pitching any of the stones for the Melody of the Awakening Dragons, right? So one legend is good. Next, of course, the one Dragon Spirit of White. Totally forgot to show this card off when I was showing the blue eyes monsters, but the card's really amazing to help get rid of back row. The only downside about this is that this isn't treated as a blue eyes monster, so unfortunately, True Light can revive this card. If it did, it would have been absolutely broken. I don't know why they kind of slightly nerfed the True Light, so that way that it can't bring back this card. Like, the True Light should have said, new special one, blue eyes monster from the grave or hand, right? That would have been insane, but yeah, they kind of nerfed it with having Spirit of White treat as a Blue Eyes card on a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, so once Dragon Spirit of White, really good to bring it out with White Stone Ancients. And once it comes out, it banishes a spawn trap card your opponent controls, which does not target, by the way. So this card is insane. And one copy of Chaos Dragon Levineer. Uh, this card is obviously searchable off Melody of the Awakening Dragons. 
Really good card to help break boards and really good extender as well to provide back to low eight monsters from the grave. And last but not least, you guys are, you know, one of my favorite monsters in the deck is definitely Nebula Dragon. This card helps on clogs your hand, which is really awesome. And having access to this card means that you get access to a rank eight Xyz and also Blue Eye Spirit Dragon on the very first turn. So Nebula Dragon is really good in the deck. And it's also a level eight monster, which can be easily pitched to the graveyard using trade in, right? Which is absolutely phenomenal. Next off for your spells, uh, we're playing a very minimal spell lineup. Uh, triple Melody of the Awakening Dragons. It's your consistency card, so just Blue Eyes, Chaos Dragon, Lemon Ears, uh, directly from your deck to hand, uh, which is absolutely insane. You get so much value once you pitch any of the stones to the grave. Last but not least, you're gonna play triple copies of Traden, very awesome, and one copy of Cards of Consonants. I'm playing a control-heavy version of Blue Eyes since the addition of True Light being added to the stack. I feel like this is all you need for the draw cards. I'm not playing Desires because I kind of want to focus on the grind game, which is what this deck is really good at. That's pretty much rounds off for all the spell cards you're playing in the deck. Next off for your traps, we're gonna play three copies of the True Light. This card is absolutely phenomenal. If you don't know what this card does, is that your opponent cannot target Blue Eyes White Dragon, your Mon Zone with card effects. If this phase of card is sent from your spawn trap card zone to the graveyard, destroy all monster control. You can use the following effect of True Light once per turn. You can activate one of these effects. Special summon Blue Eyes White Dragon from your hand or graveyard. So you can special summon Blue Eyes and also Blue Eyes Alternative from the grave, uh, which is really good. Or you can set one spell or trap directly from your deck that specifically lists Blue Eyes White Dragon in its text with a different name than the cards you control and in your graveyard. So this card would have been really good with Destined Rivals, as you guys can see, but unfortunately it's not that great because the True Light doesn't have the ability where it reads that if it's a trap card, you can activate on the same turn. If it did that, this card would have been infinitely times better. But for now, this card is gonna be used as kind of like a return of the Dragon Lords of the deck, a monster reborn to constantly bring back uh, your blue eyes monsters to your side of the field for board control. And you try to control the board as much as you possibly can with this deck. And that's why you're actually playing a lot of traps. I feel like traps are really good this format because everybody and their mothers are gonna be playing combo decks. Once they play combo decks, that means everyone is gonna be maining Crossout Designator. And Crossout Designator doesn't do anything against trap decks, okay? And that's why you guys don't see me play any hand traps in the deck. This deck literally will destroy the meta with the amount of traps that it has, which is why control variation of blue eyes with the addition of True Light is absolutely ridiculous. Like, Spear Dragon set five, good luck. Titanic Galaxy set four, good luck. Like, this card is insane. And that's why control version of Blue Eyes is viable because with the amount of back row you're playing to the deck, you're gonna be constantly able to ride back 3K beat sticks every single turn to control the board and pressure your opponent. And especially the fact that this card can revive back alternative to constantly pop monsters on the field and just control the board presence and deal damage. This deck is insane, and True Light is just great addition to the deck in my opinion, and is what the deck was missing if you're playing a control variant of Blue Eyes and a pure variation if you're trying to go towards that route, right? So True Light, very insane. I think three copies is absolutely essential in this deck right here. Next off, you're gonna play triple copies of Ice Dragon's Prison. Like I said, guys, you're playing a bunch of traps in this deck. Like, literally, they can set up their combo board. Tri Brigades got a little bit weaker, but hey, they go first, they summon their board, Appalooza, they have Revolt, and you have five back row. Like, what is Appalooza gonna do, you know what I'm saying? Like, next off, a card that helps break boards, Psalm Strike. Uh, this card's ridiculous. One of the best cards to help you go second. You set this with Ice Dragon Prison, you break three cards already. You set Psalm Strike with Trandor Tribute, you break their entire board. Uh, this card is absolutely ridiculous, man. Uh, while going second, it's also really good going first. Next off, only two copies of Trandor Tribute. Uh, this card's really amazing. I couldn't find space for the third one, uh, but if you guys could play a third Torrential, Card's really good, really good with Azure Eyes as well, because this alongside Azure Eyes protects all your Blue Eyes monsters from getting killed, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. So, Trend Tribute is just really good to help break boards while going second. And it's also a really good card going first. And next off, you're playing a bunch of Floodgates, so you're, the best way to win uh, in this format is to flood your opponent out. So, Imperial Order, you flip this card, you automatically just win the duel, man. This card is absolutely unfair. Should have been banned. Same thing with Skill Drain. Like, Skill Drain with True Light is so good. Like. Imagine just skill drain on the field and you constantly bring back 3k beat sticks every single turn. Like, your opponent is not beating you. Skill drain, once you open this, you just automatically win the duel. Next off, double wire with your warlords. Uh, really good cards, uh, you know, to flood out your opponent. You're gonna be special on the only dragons anyway, so rivalry becomes insane. And same thing with goals and match. Uh, this card is also uh, really ridiculous as well. You can be playing all light monsters. And obviously, Blue Eyes is a light monster. Uh, so goals and match becomes absolutely insane. And these are like the main floodgates in the deck alongside Torrential and Ice Dragon Prison. You literally act one of these cards, Song Strike, you win the duel. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
Like, all, like honestly, the best way to win Yu-Gi-Oh! now is just to flood your opponent out. Especially Blue Eyes controlling the board with Spear Dragon and a bunch of Floodgates. You're not going to lose a duel. You know what I'm saying? And especially the fact that True Light can consistently bring back your monsters to help OTK is also just ridiculous alongside the Floodgates, right? Next off, your extra deck for your Lynx, your Heretic Seal. Very slow mandatory. Lynx Spider. This card becomes even better now with uh, the True Light. And I'll showcase you guys some cool interactions uh, with this card right here. Uh, Link Karibo. And of course, the Hockey Fibrax. I'm playing Hockey Fibrax in it because sometimes you have Sage and like a, a Blue Eyes. You can use those two to summon Hulk. Activate Hulk, bring out Whites on the Ancients. Activate True Light, revive back Blue Eyes. Like, you literally just got a toolbox card for free, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous, right? So, Hulk is just so good. For your XCs, number 38, obviously. For Glubion, number 92. These are just good utility cards. Number 100, and this card right here is good for OTKs. Cypher Dragon, uh, Full Armor Dragon. And last but not least, Galaxy Eyes, Cypher Blade Dragon, right? Like, with these guys right here, you're literally popping four cards. Because usually what I do is I go into Cypher, you steal one, you go into this, you pop one, go into this, you pop another one. And before that, I'm going to be using Alternative to go into this, uh, to go into Cypher Dragon, right? And then Alternative already popped the card, uh, which is really good. So, the fact that you can Link Climb into these guys and just deal a bunch of damage is just absolutely insane. Last but not least for your Synchros, of course, Double Spear Dragon. This card is absolutely ridiculous. Really good against Prank Kids, by the way. This card is so good. Burning Abyss negates any graveyard effects. Prank Kids uh, stops Pendulums as well, uh, which is really essential. So Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon is really good for that. Uh, One of Zero Eyes Silver Dragon, really good. To consistently just reborn back cards from your grave and just to put pressure on your opponent along with the True Light is absolutely ridiculous. And last but not least, the one Black Rose Moonlit Dragon. Cards right here is another additional interruption that you can bring out off Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, right? Uh, which is absolutely phenomenal. So that will pretty much run off for all the monsters in your extra deck. Let's go on with some of the cool combos you guys can do with this deck. Let's let's go on with the sample test hand that you can draw with this deck right here. All right, guys, let's go on with a test hand with this deck real quick. Let's see on what are some of the cool cards we can actually draw. Without further ado, guys, let's begin, okay? Give it a good shuffle. Cut the deck. All right. Here we go. Okay, let's see our starting hand. So Melody, already good. Sage. Okay, Melody and Sage is, is already like an OTK combo, to be honest. Like, you just win the duel. True Light, okay. Yeah, honestly, we can just stop it at here, to be honest. Like, we, we don't even need other two cards. Nebula Dragon. Yeah, okay. This is a god hand, by the way. So, um, if you draw this, you already just guaranteed the win. Let's see. So, what you're going to do first is very simple. You're going to go Sage with Eyes of Blue. Search the White Stone of Ancients. Uh, which is really nice. And now you can go Melody of the Awakening Dragons. You're gonna send this to the graveyard. This is really good, especially if you're playing a trap based deck. Uh, ensures that you can consistently grind. Add uh, this and this to your hand. Now what you can do is very simple. You can reveal blue eyes, special summon alternative. And now what you can do is that you can activate Nebula Dragon, special summon Nebula, special summon blue eyes. And now what you can do is that using these two, Single so these guys to the grave. Summon Spirit. Now you can overlay these two. Dragoobion. Activate Dragoobion. Detach Blue Eyes. Use these two right here. Summon Hope Harbinger, uh, which is absolutely insane. And this is your first turn end board with this, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. So there are times when your hand isn't the greatest. And if you have this hand right here, you have, of course, Ice Dragon and let's say Solemn Strike. Like this hand is still good. But it's obviously not the greatest hand like what we did with the combo right there. But if you have like some sort of similar hand like this, like an awkward, you know, white stone with blue eyes, alternative white dragon, which you can't summon, and you have the true light, this is what you can do. I, I find out there's a lot of plays where I just set all my back row right here, uh, okay, which is really important. And now I just summon the ancients, link ancients away. I'll make the link Revo, okay, and I'll pass. And during the end phase, I can activate, of course, the white stone and ancients uh, to summon blue eyes directly from my deck. Uh, which is really good. And then now I just try to flood out my opponent with a bunch of floodgates and of course the amount of traps that I have, uh, which is really nice. And let's say now it's on your turn, you can actually do a lot of things with this uh, because what you can do is super duper simple, is on your turn you draw a card, it doesn't matter what you draw. I'll just use this as an example of a draw card that I just drew for my turn. And you have of course alternative that's in your hand, right? What you can do is that you can just link uh, this away, summon of course Link Spider. This is why Link Spider is obviously very important. Similarly to how this card is super important in Dark Magicians. And now what you can do is that you can just banish the Ancients that's in your graveyard to add this card back to your hand. 
Now what you can do is that you can activate alternative to reveal the blue eyes that you just added, special and alternative. And now what you can do is that you can activate the true light, special and the blue eyes, right? And it's special and the blue eyes and you activate alternative, pop a card, and then you go this, like a rank eight play, uh, which is insane, right? So, and also that's a pretty neat interaction you have with Link Spider and the true light. I literally turn like a, like an awkward hand into something that's playable the following turn because of True Light, right? And also with Link Spider. So that's just like a cool niche interaction you can have with the deck. And yeah, there's like so many plays you can do with the deck. Uh, you know, test it out for yourself. Let me know what you think about the True Light in the comments from below. And that's pretty much it, guys. And this is your boy Sam from Team Star Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace.